comfortably with your legs uncrossed and rest your hands on your lap, palms face up for energy and face down for grounding. Allow your eyelids to flutter close or let your gaze be soft over the tip of your nose. Notice your feet as they rest comfortably into the ground below you. Notice your hands as they rest on the tops of your legs. And then begin to notice your breath. Take a few moments here just to feel the air come into your body and then release out through your body, either breathing in and out through your nose and your mouth or just in and out through your nose, whichever is comfortable for you. In times of stress, or uncertainty, easing your mind and releasing worry becomes even more important for our physical and our mental health. The practice of a daily meditation, whether it's even five or 10 minutes or longer, has been scientifically shown to help each one of us, to help all people become happier and healthier. As you clear your mind of worry, you create space for positive thoughts, for love and compassion. So let's take the next 30 seconds to just quietly feel the power of your breath moving in and out of your body as you begin to clear your mind and you begin to relax. I encourage each of you to try to take a few quiet moments each morning and each evening to do this practice of just quietly sitting, either in silence or with gentle background music to find yourself more centered, more calm, more at peace. Let's unite our breath as a community. So first, let all the air out of your lungs. Exhale completely empty till there's nothing left. Then take a full inhale in through your nose. Fill all the way up till you can fill up no more. Keep sipping that air in, hold at the top. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Breathe in through your nose, fill up. Breathe out through your mouth, let it go. Two more times on your own, make it a little louder. Breathe in. Whenever you are ready, breathe out. Do that one more time. Beautiful, now keep breathing at your own pace. As you inhale, lift your shoulders up towards your ears. As you exhale, draw your shoulders back toward the wall behind you, around and down. As you inhale, lift your shoulders up. You exhale, roll them nice and slowly around. Now, if one of your shoulders is not flexible or you have an injury, maybe just do one shoulder or just lift your shoulders up and down if you don't have the mobility to move them around in the circle. If you do, just follow your breath as you move your shoulders around. We start nice and gentle. Take one more roll around. Then relax your shoulders away from your ears and move the other way. As you inhale, lift your shoulders up and draw your shoulders toward each other forward around and back to where you started. Keep focusing on your breath. Feel the tension release through your upper back, your shoulders and your neck. That's it.
Make these movements as exaggerated or as slow as you want. You can take two more rolls around. Beautiful. And then relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Take a big breath in. Exhale, drop your chin down towards your chest and look down at your lap or the floor below you. Stretch the whole back of your neck. Then inhale, lift your chin parallel to the ground. Exhale, dip your head back slowly and lift your chin up toward the ceiling. Nice and gentle. Inhale, bring your chin back parallel to the ground. Exhale, drop your chin down towards your chest. We move just a little faster. Inhale, lift your head up. Exhale, drop your head back. Inhale, lift your head up, chin parallel to the ground. Exhale, drop your chin down. Then one more time, lift up and dip back. Follow your breath. Then inhale, lift your head parallel, so your chin is parallel to the ground. As you exhale, drop your right ear down towards your right shoulder and stretch the left side of your neck. Nice. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your head up. Exhale, bring your left ear down towards your left shoulder. So keep your shoulders where they are. Just stretch through the right side of your neck. Let's do that two more times on each side. Lift your head up as you inhale. Exhale, right ear down. You inhale, lift. Exhale, left ear down. One more time, each side, follow your breath. There you go, you got it. Lift your head up. As you inhale, lift your hands and face them forward. Spread your fingers as wide as they'll go. As you exhale, begin to roll out your wrists. Nice and easy, nice and smooth. Go a few times each way so you can reverse direction. On your next rotation, stop, spread your fingers really wide. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then squeeze your hands shut tight. As you inhale, open. You exhale, close. Feel the power right between your hands. You open and close. That's it. Let's do four more, three more, last two, last one. Squeeze and touch tight, shut tight, and relax your hands to your lap. Lift your right foot off the ground if you can. Bring your toes up toward the ceiling and then stretch them back towards your nose. Feel a nice stretch in the back of your calf and then point your toes forward. You can do these classes with or without shoes and socks. It's totally up to you. Lift and point, lift and point. Now notice your posture. Draw the crown of your head a little closer to the ceiling as you continue to lift and point your foot. Pull your lower belly in. Engage your lower abdominals. This posture will serve you well. Lift and point. For four, three, last two, last one. Now lift your leg up just a little higher and lower your heel to hover over the ground. Then lift and lower, lift and lower. Option to add in your arms by flipping your palms up to the sky, the sides of your legs. And as you lift your leg, you can lift your arms up. A little bend in your elbow, starting to pull your energy forward, starting to wake up a little more. That's it, good job. Squeeze the top of your leg, feel your quadricep engage. You're building strength, flexibility, and focus here. A little coordination with your arms. You're here just for eight, seven, six, five, nice. Four, three, last two, last one, hold it up. Hold it for four, three, two, and one. Rest your foot, rest your hands down, lift your left foot up. 
Stretch your toes up toward the ceiling and then a little bit back towards your nose. So you can feel a little stretch through your calf, the back of your leg, and then point your toes forward. Lift and point, lift and point. Good job. Nice work. Only feel that stretch, follow your breath. Just four more, three more. Keep your foot up in two. Last one, now lift it just a little higher. Lower your heel to hover over the ground and then lift your leg up. Lower and lift. If you're really squeezing your leg, you should start to get a little workout here. Building your muscle strength. And then if you want, you can add your arms. Just flip your palms up to the sky. Lift both hands as you lift your foot. That's it, good. Breathe. Remember the posture. You're getting a little core workout here too as you pull your lower belly in. Imagine your belly button getting pulled back towards your spine. You're here for eight. Nice work. Seven, six, five. Last four, last three, last two, last one. Lower your foot down, bring your hands down. We'll work on both legs together now. If you need to balance bite with your hands on the sides of your chair, if you have an armrest, feel free to use it. Send one leg out and then the other leg out. If you feel stable here, and you will if you pull your lower belly in, you can use your arms as well as you lower both feet down and lift. Lower and lift. Your other option is to use your hands for support or see what happens if you engage both your arms and your legs. You're here for 10, nine. Use the power of your breath. For a little challenge, just go a little higher. We're halfway there, just five, four, last three, last two, and last one. Bring your feet down. And now bring your palms together to touch. Each finger aligned with its partner on the other side, your thumbs together. Pull your thumbs into your heart center. Sit tall and proud in your chair. Each class we set an intention for our practice, for our day, for the week ahead. This is a way to help with this process of meditation, of focusing and keeping your mind and your thoughts as positive as possible, and also manifesting, if you believe that is possible, which I do, um, positive outcomes. So believing in those positive outcomes and making them so. So if you have a word, a phrase, or a name that you wanna to bring to mind now, feel free to do so. Or share my intention today, which is to bring the power of meditation into our lives a little more consistently and creating a positive cycle between the strengthening of your mind and the strengthening of your body. And likewise, as we strengthen our bodies, we strengthen our minds. So yoga brings both of those things together. You can add that to your own intention or just take your own. And take a big breath in through your nose, fill up. Big breath out through your mouth, let it go. Relax your arms to your sides with your palms forward. Inhale, mountain pose. Lift your arms up over your head. May our ten intentions help guide us. For a nice little tool, you can set them every morning if you'd like. Spire your pinky fingers inward a little bit toward each other and sit up tall in your chair, stretching through your side body. If this hurts on one side or the other, feel free to drop an arm or bend your elbows. Do what feels right for you. Take a breath in and exhale, side bend to the right. Option to bring your right hand to your left wrist and stretch up and over. That's it. Breathe into the stretch, nice and gentle through your left side body. Beautiful, inhale, mountain pose, lift both arms up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Option to take your left hand to your right wrist. Gently pull up and over. Inhale, mountain pose, lift both arms up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. 
So twist your arms up to the side of the room without at shoulder height and twist your torso over to the right side of the room. Option to look over your back shoulder. Option to bend your elbows a little. Twisting is so good for you to massage your internal organs, to keep your spine juicy and healthy. Inhale, mountain pose. Come back to center and lift your arms up over your head. Exhale, open arm twist the other way. So twist to the left, bring your arms out to shoulder height. Option to look over your back shoulder. If it's more comfortable to bend your elbows, that's fine. Just work on twisting from the base of your spine all the way up. Then inhale, mountain pose. Come back to center, lift your arms over your head. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands to your heart. Bend your chest towards your thighs and release your hands to your knees. You can slide all the way down to fold so that your hands touch your ankles, your toes, or all the way to the ground, feel free to do so. Go to where you're stable in your chair and hold it there. If you can get a little stretch in your low back, tuck your chin in slightly towards your chest and let the crown of your head come toward the ground. If you get dizzy, feel free to come up a little more. Take this nice and slow, breathe in, breathe out. Then inhale, rise up the way you went down. Exhale, relax your hands by your sides. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, yogis, we're gonna do this sequence two more times, flowing, linking breath to movement. Your option here is to stand up. I will do this next round standing, but feel free to stay seated. It's totally up to you. Inhale, mountain pose. Lift your arms up over your head. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Inhale, mountain, follow your breath. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Go to where you feel comfortable. If you can go all the way to the ground, do so. Tuck your chin in, breathe in and breathe out, then inhale, rise up, exhale, relax your hands down. If you're standing and wanna continue standing, feel free, I'm gonna sit down for this last round. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up over your head. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, open arm twist. Inhale, mountain, lift up tall. Exhale, open arm twist to the other side. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Go to where you feel comfortable. Breathe in, breathe out. And inhale, rise up the way you went down. Exhale, hands to your side. Palms face forward, seated or standing. Inhale, windmill your arms up over your head. Bring your palms together to touch. Exhale, pull your hands into your heart center. Do that five more times. Pull this positive energy up and around you, feeling the love and compassion of our little community here. That's it, do it three more times. Follow your breath. Beautiful, go at your own pace. Lift that energy up. Pull it straight in. Touch your thumbs into your heart center. I've got one more. Maybe you do too. And then stop with your hands to your heart center. Take a breath in. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Twist, look over your right shoulder. If you're standing, you can do it like this or you can bend your legs in a chair pose to get a little workout in your inner thighs, your hips. We'll hold it for one more full round of breath. Then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, prayer twist the other way. Again, if you're standing, you can have legs straight or take a chair pose to get a little extra workout in your leg. Hold it one more breath. That's it, yogis. Inhale back to center. Exhale, prayer twist the other way. Keep breathing. Inhale, center. 
Exhale, last prayer twist for now. Breathe and hold. And inhale, back to center. Exhale, release your hands down to your sides or to your lap. Breathe in and breathe out. Another cleansing breath, take it on your own. Nice and strong, breathe in and breathe out. Beautiful. We move on. You can do the next series seated or standing, totally up to you. I'll start seated and I'll also show you standing. Inhale, warrior two pose. Keep your right leg where it is, send your left leg out and bring your arms out to your side. So if you're standing, you wanna turn your foot so that you don't stretch your leg and then send your left leg out arms out to your side. See what I mean? If you have your foot forward in this pose, it's easy to do that when you're seated. But when you're standing, you want to align your and stack your joints. That's your warrior pose, nice and strong. Seated or standing looks like this. Take a breath in. Exhale, circle your arms forward. Breathe. That's it. Circle, circle. Anytime you need tired or need to get need to take a break, drink water, feel free. Just join us again when you're ready. Just your presence, even if you're just sitting and breathing, serves you and serves all of us. Your energy is felt. So stay strong. Stay with me. You're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna reverse in two and one. Reverse it back. Yes, you can. When it starts to burn, it means that you're getting strong. If you feel any sharp pain, just stop. I'm with you. We got this. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop, stretch your arms out side to side. Take a breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Bring your right forearm onto your right thigh or you can bring it to the inside of your leg and then lift your left arm up. So you're standing, looks this pretty much the same. Option to look up at your thumb for an extra stretch. Yeah, you got it. And inhale, reverse warrior. Keep your legs right where they are, switch out your arms. Option to look up or behind you. Same thing if you're seated. Yeah, you got it. Take a breath in. Exhale back to warrior two, arms out to your sides. Then inhale, star pose. Slide your heels in, your toes out, and bring your arms up like a V, legs out like a V. So if you're standing, it looks like that. If you're seated, same thing. You're in the big star pose. Spread your fingers wide. Take a breath in. Exhale, horse pose. Bring your hands to heart center, bend your knees. If you're seated, bring the bottoms of your feet to the ground. If you're standing, you're gonna to wanna to take like a little squat with your hips. Track your knees right over your second and third toe. Move side to side if you're standing a couple times. And if you're seated, you can just move through your waist. And find stillness. Take a breath in. Exhale, bring your hands to the tops of your legs. As you inhale, lengthen your spine. You exhale, twist to the right. So bring your right shoulder forward toward, or your uh, left shoulder forward toward your right knee, rather. So you're going to the right here. Your left shoulder is coming up. And if you're seated, this looks about the same. If you're standing, you're just getting a workout in your legs. Then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Bring your right shoulder toward your left leg. Same thing if you're seated, just get a nice twist through your back, your shoulder. Let's do it one more time on each side. Your legs are getting tired if you're standing, I know. Come back to center, twist right, center, twist left, and then meet in horse pose, hands to your heart. Yeah, you're ready to straighten your legs, right? Inhale, star pose, lift up. Beautiful work. Exhale to your warrior two pose. Take a breath in. Exhale, hands and feet together. All right, relax your hands down by your sides. We're gonna do the other, the other way, the other side. So keep your left leg where it is if you're seated, send your right leg out, reach your arms out to your sides. Again, if you're standing, so you don't torque your knee, stress your knee, 
Point your toes to the wall in front of you or your line in your joints here. Stretch your arms up and out. Face your palms toward me, take a breath in. And exhale, just press forward, a little pulse. Pulse, pulse, that's it, nice. Beautiful yogis, looking good. Pulse, 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 pulse. You're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, reverse it in two, one. Face your palms toward the wall behind you. If that doesn't hurt your shoulders, if not, you can just go up and down this way. But if you can face your hands behind you, working through the tops of your shoulders, your upper back, that's it. Nice job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Face your palms down. Take a breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Bring your left forearm to your left thigh or to the inside of your leg and reach your right arm up. Option to look up at your thumb. Breathe into the stretch through your right side body. And inhale, reverse warrior. Keep your legs as they are. Switch out your arms. Yeah, that's it, yogis. Breathe into this beautiful stretch. Think of something positive now. You can, anything. Anything positive. Breathe it in. And exhale back to your warrior position. You know that I love that we are warriors and not warriors. Remember that. I am a warrior, not a worrier. I am a warrior, not a warrior. Okay. Inhale, star pose. We were here before. You're making a big X with your body. If you're seated, it looks like this. If you're standing, you're stretching up, shining bright. Feel your fingertips spread wide. Take a breath in. Exhale, horse pose. Bend your knees. Hands to your heart. Take a breath in. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Keep going, go at your own pace. Come to center. If you're in your chair, you're just twisting like this. These twists are so good for your spine to detox all the environmental toxins, emotional toxins out of your body. So I love to do a number of twists throughout class. So good. Let's do four more. Three more. Last two. Last one. Come back to center. This time when you twist, you can bring one arm down and one arm up. See how that feels. If your legs are bent and you're standing, you're getting a good workout. Bring your hands back together, twist center. And then twist the other way, option to open up. If you wanna bring your hand to the side of your leg or stack your arms perpendicular to the ground, just breathe into this little extra. All right, come back to center, hands together. Inhale, star pose, should feel pretty good. Exhale to your warrior pose. Take a breath in, exhale, hands and feet together, hands down by your side. All right, hopefully you're feeling warmed up. You're getting your heart rate up just a little bit. We will link breath to movement now. If you need a little sip of water, take it. If you want to sit or stand, totally up to you, but we're going to do that same series. We'll eliminate the little pulses and the circles, and we'll flow right through it. Let's do it. Inhale, warrior two pose. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, back to your warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse pose. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Take a breath in. Exhale, hands and feet together. Hands down by your side. One more side to go, my friends. You've got this. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Oh yeah, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose, shine bright, big and tall. Exhale, horse pose. Inhale, star, lift, feel that energy. 
Exhale, warrior two, take a breath in, this way. Exhale, hands and feet together, hands down by your side, breathe in and breathe out. Remember, you are a warrior, not a worrier. We're gonna try to take worry out of our minds for the rest of the day, the rest of the week. There's certain things you can control and other things you cannot. Worrying doesn't help. So that's my mantra along with my meditation. We will now begin to use light weights if you have them. So it's an option. If you don't have any cans, bottles, or weights with you today, that's totally cool. If you do, grab them. Again, you can do these exercises perfectly effectively seated in a chair. And if you want extra, you can stand up and do them. You can even come, like if you have a mat, you can do these on your knees, for example. You can do them standing, you can do them in a chair pose. All right, grab your light weights, whatever they are, and face them like columns in your hands. If you don't have anything to hold, just bring your hands like this. And lower your weights down to frame your legs. Take a breath in. Exhale, squeeze your hands up to your shoulders. Lower and lift. These are hammer curls, working part of your biceps, side of your arms, that meaty part of your biceps, the top of your arms. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. That's it. Nice work, yogis. You're looking strong today. Keep it up. We're gonna go halfway up, all the way up, and then halfway down, all the way down. We'll start that in eight counts, seven counts, six, five, last four. That's it, good job. Three, yeah, that's two, nice mom. Last one, lower it down. Then lift halfway up, all the way up, halfway and down. You see that? You're working into your muscle fibers a little slower, no swinging. It's halfway, all the way, halfway, down. Half, lift, lower, down, half. You got it? All right, you got it. Remember your breath. Your breath is your power. Your breath is your control. That's it. When you control your breath, nothing and no one can steal your peace. Focus there when you need it. Remember you've got it. Breathe. Breathe. That's it, we're here for eight, seven, six, last five, four, so strong, last three, yes you can, last two, last one. Bring your weights down by your sides and then lift them just halfway up so your elbows are at a 90 degree angle. Take a breath in. As you exhale, pulse and keep breathing. You're lifting your weights up and down one or two inches. We gotta build strength. For women especially, Osteoporosis hits a lot of us as we age and weight bearing exercise is so good for you. So if over time you can increase the weight that you're lifting, if it's not too strenuous for you, focus on starting a little bit, doing what you can and then building on, all right? Let's do it, eight, seven, six, Five, last four, three, hold it out in two, one, hold them up, hold them. We're almost done, I promise we're almost done. We're gonna rest in a minute. Now push your weight straight out in front of you and pull them in. Or even if you just have your hands, out, squeeze in, out, squeeze in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, 
Last one, bring them in and lower your hands down. If you have weights or something, set it down. Give your arms a little shake, your shoulders a little shimmy. Nice work, breathe in and breathe out. All right, we're not done with the weights though. Pick them back up just the way you had them. But this time, when you bring them down to your sides, we're gonna send your weights behind you for your triceps. Send your hands back to the wall behind you. As you inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Bend and extend. So if your chair has armrests and they're in your way, you can keep your arms just a little wider. You can also, as I said, do this standing. You can do this on your knees if you have a mat, whatever feels most comfortable to you. But you're engaging the backs of your arms here. That's it, Barbara, nice work. Keep it up, you're looking good today. Breathe, breathe. Let's go. We've got our Purdue IU challenge going today. Next time I'll be wearing my IU shirt. All right, nice work. You're here for eight, seven, six, just five. Hold your arms behind you in four, because you can, three, last two, hold them up, hold them up, hold them up, and squeeze your hands together. Squeeze, squeeze, you're pulsing here. Hope you can feel this. I can feel it. I can feel it. Let's do it. You are here, you are present in this moment. Make the most of it. Squeeze them together for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your weights back to your lap just for a second and bring your hands to your lap. We're gonna do the halfway, all the way, halfway and down with your triceps. And then we'll do one more weight exercise. So this one looks like this. You're going halfway, all the way, halfway and in. Out and back, in and down, back, back, back together, okay? You got it? If you can feel this and it's starting to burn and you need to take a break, take a break and come back to it when you're ready. We're not here for long, I promise. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Woo, last two, last one. All right, bring your hands to your lap, set your weights down if you have them, let's stretch. Lift your right elbow up to the sky, bring your hand behind your head or neck and stretch. Yeah, if that's hard on your shoulder or your mobility, just do what you can, maybe you go this way, but do what you can. When you're ready, stretch the other side, elbow to the sky. No worries if your arm doesn't move this way. Robin and Robin, you're looking beautiful today. Keep it up. We've got one more weight exercise. When you're ready, release that tricep. Pick up your weights. Cactus your arms and face your hands to the sky. We'll begin one arm at a time. So take a breath in. With your right arm, punch it straight up to the sky. Nice and direct over your shoulder. Then lower, left arm up. And lower, right down, left, down. Go at your own pace here. You wanna go a little slower, you wanna drop whatever you're holding, you can do that. Face your palms outward, push. Push the weight of the world off your shoulders. You no longer need it there, get rid of it. Push, yeah, good. We're gonna do both arms together in a count of four, three, last two, last one. Lower, push them both up. Lower, push. You wanna go back to one at a time or one of your arms, not good for it, just do your other arm. Let's see what you got today. Yeah, Regina, you made it. Nice work. Eight. 
seven, six. Let's go, Mary Jo. Five, four, three. So nice to have you, Nancy. Last two. Last one, lower them down. You're done with your weights. Bring your weights to the ground. Send your right arm or wherever, put them on your table, the cans down. Send your right arm up, palm up. If you need to take water, feel free. I don't usually cue the water breaks, but if you need it, take it. Stretch through your bicep, gently pull back on your hand. Gently stretch your wrist and then switch other side. Palm up, stretch. You wanna take this side stretch across your shoulder. Bring your right arm across toward your left shoulder and stretch. Do the same thing on the left side. Breathe. Relax your arms down. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. All right, we've kind of come to the peak of our class. I like to do a little bit of cardio at your own pace. So you know what's good for you. You can do it very slow by walking in place in your chair with your arms moving just a little bit. You want to stand up, you can do it this way. You can see I'm kind of going in slow-mo. Or if you're feeling it today and you got it in you, you can do a little jog. So we're going to do this for two minutes. We're going to add in some arm work, some coordination. It's totally up to you. You want to go like slow-mo or you want to go wickety split. It's up to you, all right? Just find a nice little pace here. You want to jog in place, you can. Good job. All right. We are going to add some arm movements in. We're going to punch down to our chest, up to the sky, and back to our chest. We'll do that in four. With me in three. Last two. And one. It goes down, up all the way up and back to center. Down, in, up. You got it? So if I'm, you just go at your own pace. You don't have to follow me. See, when I stood up, I started going a little faster. But this is the movement you want. You go at you, you do you. You just want to go down, or you just like up. <laughs> That's fine, all right? And we're going to do this for 20 more seconds. Let's go. Boom. Boom. We're halfway to the end. We're going to keep jogging, but we're going to do something else with our arms. Keep jogging or walking in place for four. Arms out in three, two, and one. So your arms go out and in, out and in. See you, you're looking like this. A little coordination there. It's actually harder to do this seated, I think. So if you're seated, you're getting a good workout. All right. Let's go. Come on, yogis. 30 more seconds. We're going to punch it out for the last 30 seconds. Yeah. We're rocking it. All right, you're doing great. We're going to punch one arm at a time. Get ready. Start on the right in five, four, Three, two, and one. It's punch it out. Oh yeah. Who knew that yoga was so exciting, so fun? Yes it is, because you're here and if you're seated, you're doing the same thing. Boom, boom, get rid of that worry. Get rid of that stress. You got 10 more seconds to get rid of it. Five, four, Three, two, and one. All right, hands down. Slow down your pace. Woo, yeah, nice work. High fives. Good job. All right, come to a rest. Bring your arms out by your sides, palms up. Inhale, lift your arms up over your head. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Do that one more time, lower your arms down, lift up, 
hands to your heart, and then hands to your hips. We're gonna do some full body rolls to bring our heart rate back down. Lean to the right and come to the right corner of the room with your body, the center of the room, left corner and over to the left wall. Keep rolling around. You can make these circles as big or as little as you want. You don't have to come as far forward as me. You can maybe just do a little one or you can do an even bigger one. Yeah, hopefully we're all awake now. Go around one more time that way. And sit up tall, move the other way. Go to the left, left corner, forward, right corner. Go at your own pace. As you come back, you might want to draw your chest, your heart toward the sky. As you come forward, pull your shoulders, round them forward so you're getting a little more energy here through your heart center and through your upper back. Take two more rolls around this way. All right, come back to where you started. If you want to take one more, you can. Breathe in and breathe out. Meet me here, breathe in and breathe out. Then if your hands are still on your hips, bring them to your side. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms up. Exhale, eagle pose on the right. Sweep your right arm under your left arm and either grab your shoulders if that's enough for you, or if you can bring your hands together to touch, do so. And lift your right leg up over your left. If you want to test your balance, you can do this posture standing. Use your foot as a kickstand like that, or lift it up, or bring your foot behind your opposite calf for balance. You always have your chair behind you if you need it, but seated is great too. Kind of another form of our twist that I love so much. You're twisting through your ankle, your knees, your hips, your elbows, your wrists, your shoulders, your scapula. And if anything hurts, don't do that. You can always just bring your hands crossed over your chest. And take a big breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Bring your elbows down toward your leg. Now, if you're standing, it's going to be hard to balance, but you could do this. Or you can put your toe down if you need it. All right? Might be able to do it with your leg up. You do what's right for you. You're here for eight. Follow your breath. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Last three. Last two. Last one. Okay, now sit up and squeeze your inner thighs together. Or if you're standing, squeeze them tight. Squeeze your arms together really tight. Take a breath in. Exhale, release. Unwind your arms. Bring both feet to the ground. Beautiful. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, mountain pose. Lift both arms up. Exhale, eagle pose on the left side. Bring your left arm under your right arm. Again, option to grab shoulders or bring your palms together. They call this eagle pose, it's like an eagle beak. But if that's not good for your shoulders, no worries. There's always a modification in yoga. Swing your left leg over your right. Again, if you're standing, take whatever variation works for you. you got it? Maybe lift your elbows up a little higher. Feel that nice stretch. We're gonna do these chair sit-ups or eagle sit-ups again. Take a breath in, exhale. Fold forward. And if you're standing, these are really amazing for your balance and for your core strength. So you do what feels right for you. That's it. We're on the home stretch, my friends. So lovely. Just eight more. You can do this. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Last three. Last two, keep moving. I don't care what you're doing, do something. Last one, sit up nice and tall. Squeeze tight, take a breath in. And exhale, release your arms. Bring both feet to the ground. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, mountain pose. 
Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, tree pose on the right side. If you are seated, lift your right foot up and just cross it over your left so that you have one foot on the ground. If that doesn't work for you, you can cross your ankles. And if you're standing, just lift your right foot, press it into your left inner leg above your knee. If you need to lift it, you can always use your chair behind you or below your knee. You're working on your balance here. And if you're seated, you're working on meditation. So I will be quiet for the next 30 seconds. Hold this posture. Just breathe. If you want to lift your arms up, you may. Totally up to you. Meditate. On your next inhale, grow a little taller. Draw the crown of your head a little closer to the sun. As you exhale, bring both feet to the ground. If your hands are not together, bring them together at your heart center. When I say meditate, I just mean to focus on your breath. If you have a mantra or you want to bring your intention back to mind and repeat it over and over, you can do that. Nothing else, just try to clear your mind of your thoughts and be. Inhale. Tree pose on the left side. Same thing, if you're standing, you can work your balance. You've got your chair behind you. Bring your foot below or above your knee. Option to lift your arms. If you're seated, try to have one foot on the ground. Imagine your roots going into the ground below you. We'll hold it for 30 seconds. Just be, breathe. Grow a little taller. Press your foot firmly into the ground as you lift up a little closer to the sky above you. Maybe even look up, take a breath in. Exhale. Hands together if they're not already there. Both feet to the ground. Relax your hands to your side. Separate your legs out like a V, seated or standing. Bring your hands to the tops of your legs and slide them down to your knees. Bring your belly forward. Stay stable if you're in your chair. You can reach your hands to the ground in front of you. Relax your head and breathe. From this position, walk your hands wherever they are over to your right leg. So if you're on the ground, you can just walk over. If you're lifted, just move your hands over. Oops, the right side. And then go down. Hold it here for a few breaths. Enjoy the stretch. Wherever your stretch is for you, take it. No judging in yoga. Don't be hard on yourself. Just fill yourself with compassion today. And then wherever you are, walk your hands over to the other leg. So if you're here, just come here. If you're on the ground, come over to the other side. Stretch, breathe. Hold it for a couple more breaths and walk your hands back to center or if they're over on your leg, bring them to the center of your chair. Hold it here for a couple breaths. And then come back all the way up, sit up, bring your feet together out in front of you. You have a little bend in your legs. Bring your hands to the tops of your legs. Take a breath in. Lift your arms up over your head. And exhale, fold forward. So reach your hands for your toes. Maybe flex your toes up towards your fingers. Maybe even take two piece fingers around your big toes and gently pull. And if you're standing, if you wanted to do that standing, it's kind of like a forward fold. We sometimes call this gorilla pose, pulling up on your toes, releasing any 
tension that remains in your low back, in your neck, your head. On your next inhale, come back up, lift your arms over your head. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Interlace your fingers. Stretch your hands outward so your palms facing the wall in front of you and then press your arms out. Lift your arms up over your head, take a breath in. And then exhale, bend to the right. These are our last side bends of class. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, bend the other way. Then lift back up. Flip your palms so that your fingers are still interlaced, but your palms face down. Bring them behind your neck. Lean back into your hands. Spread your elbows wide. Look up. Then unwind your hands so that your hands are separated behind your neck. Give yourself a little neck rub. Lower your hands down to the tops of your shoulders. Cross over to the meaty part of your shoulders. Give yourself a little shoulder rub. And then relax your hands to your sides. Breathe in. And breathe out. From the top of your head, down your neck, all the way down your spine, relax. You've made it to the resting posture. The last posture of class, our last meditation. For the next minute, from your hips down to the tips of your toes and from your shoulders to the tips of your fingers, completely relax. Relax your face. Let your eyelids flutter closed or let your gaze be soft. Take the next minute in the most important yoga pose of all, Shavasana. When you're ready, bring your awareness back to your breath. Move your head side to side a couple of times. Nod it up and down because yes, you can. Yes, you will. Yes, I can. Yes, I will. And take one last full stretch of your arms up over your head. Any way you like, you can bring them straight up or out like a V, a big breath in. Exhale, bring your hands back to your heart center and close your eyes if they're not already closed. The reason that I say the resting posture, Shavasana, is the most important pose in a yoga practice goes back to what we discussed at the beginning of the power of meditation, of allowing your body and your mind to relax and to release. When you do that, you can become the healthiest, happiest version of you and let that happiness and good health radiate out to those around you, those two you love. And I love all of you. So I hope that each one of you will consider adding in a little meditation to your day. Some of you may already pray or take time to quiet your thoughts. If you can do that every day, maybe in the morning and the night, add one more in in the middle if you like. So good for all of us. Let's seal our, our class today with one last breath together. Let all the old air out, empty your lungs. And breathe in fully, fill all the way up. Exhale, let it go. Lift your thumbs up to your forehead. This is your third eye center, your center of knowledge and intuition. Bow forward to your own heart. Thank yourself for joining our class today as we salute each other with a last word. Namaste. 
Namaste and yay, you are all amazing.